we're gonna work on crystal placement or rhinestone or beads, whatever you're working with. And basically you wanna have a good gel. So like something like this, which I like cause I have a little more control over. I just use this and then I can dab a tiny piece, say like on here for like really small crystals. Or you can use something like this if you're um, a beginner, a little squeeze tube, and then you see that tip, you can just squeeze it onto there and then, and then you're done. And then after you're done placing your, your rhinestones, put your hand in to cure, okay? Basically what you wanna do is start at your biggest size and then you're gonna work around it. Then you're gonna add smaller sizes and basically you're gonna dress the big rhinestone. Let's say, I'm gonna start here and then I'm gonna use the other side. This is Young Nails tool. So we're gonna do, let's do this. So you're gonna start with your biggest. First, I put my base and I start with the bigger gems, right? So I'm gonna start, this is basically my design you're just filling it. So you wanna keep, you have your big stones, you wanna keep it very small and either add some beads or like a smaller gem on the ends and you could even switch the color. So say I do this. This is what I like about the gel too is that they won't really move around. Okay. So I'm gonna add it's kind of like, um, basically what you're doing is you're finishing it off, right? It's like a finish or like an icing on the cake. So you're gonna take, let's see, a small, ow, I just my hand. Small bead, and you're gonna finish your design with that and give it like a, a seal or an ending, okay? And then in between, say, just just look at it and just keep going. So here you have a crevice here. You can add to those little like, um, like metal beads or you can add even smaller rhinestones or you can add them in here and here and here and here. And it just gives it a really delicate look. Don't mind the colors. Obviously the colors don't look that great. I don't know why I can't find my my beads. Hold on. Let's see. So you can switch it up and add some of these. So these are like your little little beads that you can use as a filler. So I'm gonna go in and say I'm gonna add one here. Oops, so that dresses it up. And, and then you can go in here. See how the design is coming together? And then we're gonna add 
two more. There you go. So you did your design and then you just filled in little gaps. And I like it like that, it's simple. I mean, you can add it everywhere if you want, but I think um, it just depends on your taste. Once it's cured, you are done. I placed them after I put top coat. If you don't do it this way, then you're just gonna, why do I have, you guys, I sprayed alcohol on my nails and it gets white underneath, but I mean, alcohol on my hands. <laughs> but, um, what was I gonna say? Oh yes, hold on. And apply top coat and you just wanna make sure you go around everything or like in this case, where you apply it after you've done the top coat. So I wasn't gonna file it off, I just wanted to show you guys. But see, it's cute and it's simple. So basically, the idea is whenever you sit down to put gems on your nail, it's okay to just freestyle. And you wanna start with the biggest ones first and then create your base and then you're gonna fill in and seal the design or top the design and that's it so you want to make sure you top each side off and then do some fillers and then you can keep it simple like this or if you're going to do the entire nail start big and you place them around and then you can fill in but you have to make sure that you are adding a big one and then a smaller one and then an even smaller one than that so it has to be um like gradient if that makes sense and if you're not looking to fill the nail and you just want to go around and do like a crown of jewels you can do that and you just want to keep them smaller when you're closer to the cuticle area so make sure you're using really small rhinestones and then what else yeah and you can place just like a couple here on the side or you can dress the entire like side of the nail and make it come down like this that's a really nice option but you want to start with a big one in the center and then go smaller so your ends should have like i said smaller rhinestones so you're going to start big and then go a little smaller and then even smaller so basically your big ones should be in the center and then you will seal with smaller rhinestones. So hopefully with me repeating that, it makes sense. And yeah, that's it, quick video. Hopefully that helps. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video.